Right. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to um, find our estimators for a simple linear regression. And I'm using this um, data set. Um, actually, I got it from uh, this website called Gapminder. And uh, I basically clicked on life expectancy, and it shows me the life expectancy for a bunch of different years. And um, I downloaded it, and then I only saved the life expectancy for 2010. And then I did the same thing um, for income, and I downloaded it and only saved it for 2010, and then basically I matched it by country. Okay, so what I have is um, this Afghanistan's um, average life expectancy in 2010 and their average income per person. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and, and talk about doing a linear regression in Excel. Uh, there's there's two methods you could use. You could just do a shortcut method. Um, Excel will automatically do a linear regression for you, basically. So that's really nice. Um, you could also use the formulas that we discussed, um, and you you could calculate your um, your least squares estimators yourselves. Uh, either way, you'll get the same answer. So in this video, I'm going to start with showing you the shortcut, and then I'll show you how to do it using the formulas that we have um, derived for the Lewis least squares estimators. Okay. So um, if you go up top and you press data, over to the right, you should see this data analysis tool pack. If you don't see this, um, I'm going to provide a link in the description of this video for how to get this onto your Excel. Okay. So once you're here, uh, scroll to find regression, press OK. Okay. For the Y input, make sure your cursor is blinking there on the Y input. I'm going to highlight my life expectancy. So I'm going to click that first cell, press shift, 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 control, and my down arrow, and now highlight all my data. I could have just dragged my cursor all the way down, just would have taken a long time. So it's easier to use that shortcut. Okay. Uh, press the next cell. So um, make sure you're here, your cursor is blinking in the X range. Press the uh, income, shift, control, down arrow. It'll bring you, all, it'll highlight all your data. Okay, uh, include the labels check mark because when I highlighted my data, I did highlight the labels, right? Uh, so make sure you check that. Um, for right now, we're not going to worry about any of this other stuff. Okay, we will talk about maybe some of this other stuff later on. Uh, press OK. And it, and a new worksheet, let me highlight it and then double click to kind of make everything bigger. Uh, on a new worksheet, it gives me my output. Okay, these are my estimators. This is B1, B0 and this is B1. Okay, so let me highlight those. Let me highlight them yellow. All right. Um, we can adjust how many decimals they have by pressing these little over arrows. Okay, maybe I'll save three decimal, four decimals. Okay. Um, so, yeah, gives me automatically my um, my estimators of my least square, my least squares estimators for beta not and beta one. Um, I could have also used the formulas. So if I want to use the formulas, let me scroll up. Uh, recall the formula for B1 is S Y X divided by S X X. Okay, so let's start with that. Um, S Y X, what I need to do is figure out Y, each Y observation minus Y bar. Um, and then each X observation minus x bar. Okay. Um, so first thing I might want to figure out is what is y bar and what's x bar. So y bar and x bar. This equals the average. Okay. Average of y. Y was life expectancy. So now don't click up here because that's not a number. So Starting with your first Y value, shift control down. Okay, close the parentheses. So you see it's up here now, okay? So close those parentheses and press enter. If I scroll up, there's my Y bar. 
Same thing for x-bar equals average open parentheses shift shift control down arrow close parentheses and press enter okay all right so y minus y bar equals so i'll take this observation and i'll subtract off the mean now i want to lock the mean so i'm going to use these dollar signs to lock that so that when i oops accidentally put a parenthesis there but so when i take this and then i'm going to double click on this little guy there and the little box and we can see that every time the mean stays the same it's in the same location that's what those dollar signs do but um, the value of the y keeps on going down right okay so this is the same thing for x minus x bar x minus x bar and then lock it by using the dollar signs okay put your cursor there double click scrolls down okay Okay, so now to find uh, B1, I need to find the product of these two, right? So Y minus Y bar times X minus X bar, okay? And then let me move this over because that's in the way. And then um, same thing except X minus X bar times X minus X bar or X minus X bar squared. Okay, so equals this guy times that guy. So y minus y bar times x minus x bar equals x bar or y, x minus x bar squared. Okay, and scroll those all the way down. Okay, I just double clicked on that little box once I highlighted them. All right, now I have everything I need to f figure out what B1 is. So B1 uh, will equal the sum of uh, y minus y bar times x minus x bar. So the sum of all of this divided by, scroll up, okay, divided by the sum of all of this, x minus x bar squared. Okay, close parentheses, press enter, and we get exactly the same that Excel told us. All right, if I use more decimals, 2852, 285, yep, yeah, it's the same number, okay? So that's hard. That 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 inner or that slope is hard to find. Uh, what's the formula for beta naught or b naught? The formula is um, y bar minus b one times x bar. Okay. So b naught equals equals, let's do an equal sign over here, y bar minus b1 times x bar. Press enter, and we should get the same thing that Excel told us, so 65.827, uh, there we go. Same thing. All right, so you can see it takes a lot more work to do it by hand. But luckily, Excel will do it automatically for you using that data analysis tool pack.